everyone, it's Julia, and I'm going to be upcycling this pair of jeans today. And I'm going to be following the method by this gal that I've been following on YouTube. Her name is um, Tracy, and her channel is T. Meyer Handmade. I'm going to link it down below. She does wonderful upcycles. So you might, you know, if you like this kind of thing, I would check out her channel. I already pre-cut or already cut off about six inches off the bottom of these jeans, so I cropped them. And these are a man's cut jeans. And she slices them all the way or cuts them all the way up um, about a half an inch away from that, that side seam. And cutting them all the way up through the waistband. Now I've done a lot of upcycled jeans on my channel. And I've always done jeans that fit me. Now these jeans you need to buy bigger than bigger than what's gonna you know they're because the, you are gonna be taking them in a little bit on the side seams. Um, I'm gonna link how I do my jeans. I, I do not open up the side seams and I put all my patches on using free motion um, stitching just by sliding it oh, the the pants leg onto my open arm. Um, but these are done differently and it's a fun method. I decided to also do a little slice on the inside of the seam and that's what I, I did there. Just gonna add that little gusset. So this is gonna be on the inseam of the pants. And I'm gonna do this on both sides and just add this little, just gonna add a little bit to the inside of the, the, the pants leg. So I'm gonna do that first before I do any of the patches that I'll be, be creating. I'm gonna be just stitching this on both sides. Added a little piece of lace on the bottom of there too and you can see it there. I did end up turning that lace up. I didn't like it extending beyond um, the hem. So I turned that up um, at the end here. But right now I'm just stitching pretty close to the edge, about a quarter of an inch away. I'm gonna um, link a playlist to some of my other upcycles so you can see those. But I do, um, I, I would definitely check out Tracy's um, channel. It's She's just got the greatest ideas. She does a lot of thrifting. Um, does a lot of collecting of different things similar to my you know like we're always looking for tapestries and fringe and things that you can use in other garments really a fun channel so that is done and now it's on to drawing some kind of oblong shaped rectangles and these are going to be cut out at for the patches. Just gonna just like just draw. I have my water soluble pen here that I'm using. Flip it over and I'm gonna add some more of those rectangles to the back side. But first I'm gonna cut off the back pocket. I'm just gonna cut off one and I'm just cutting inside the, the seam. So this is just a real easy way to remove a pocket. I'm gonna decorate this. Um, I also like the fact that it's not faded at all, so that is gonna be a, a darker color. I do save this pocket. It'll go on another upcycle. I have a, a tote that I just have denim parts on, and so I'm always getting extra little parts that I need for another project. And again, just adding a few more of those oblong shaped rectangles. And then I'll be cutting these out and I'm just gonna cut right on that line that I, that I drew. Now to add the patches. So I'm working on the inside of my jean, my, my pants leg, so I can completely open that up and lay these face down covering those holes. I do want my patches to be about an inch bigger all the way around. I'm just gonna pin all these into place, adding just a bunch of different colors. I, I kind of stuck with the, the blues and pinks for this pair. 
And this particular fabric has a patched look to it, so it's just really interesting to use. Just have, having to move that up just a bit. You want to make sure that it completely covers that, that hole and, and it extends about an inch all the way around. Now I'm at my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch those patches on and I stitch close to the edge. I'm using the same colored thread and this was tr a, another idea that Tracy had. She uses the same colored thread as what's top stitched on the jeans. And this jean has a uh, camel colored, I would say. And so that is the color that I'm using on both the bobbin and the top. You will see, of course, see this stitching on the front side of your jeans. So here's what it looks like. All, all of those are in place. And now it's on to adding some patches on the outside of the jean. And I'm just doing some fiddling around. I'm just trying to figure out what I like the best. And then of course doing the same for the back. Just got a couple more back here that I want to add. And then I want to add another little piece up, up on top of this top of the, the pocket. And back to my sewing machine, and I don't show that, but I did go ahead and just close to the edge, stitch all those into place, and added a little bit of lace. Now it's so easy to stitch these patches on when you can open up this, the, the leg. Um, and now I've got this very damaged piece of linen. It's, it's an old embroidery. Um, like I said, it's very damaged, and I'm just going to cut around some of these little shapes. Even the rusty old needle was in it was was left on this. I um, mean you can you can see where the the metal hoop was left on it too. So someone must have started it and then put it away. I um, mean it's not finished in the center of these flowers, so I'm going to just add a little piece of uh just a little bit of a like lace embellishment to those. But I really love that bird and I'm going to add that. And then just place these where I think they're going to look look kind of kind of I mean grounded you don't want them just floating around but I thought this one looked really cute there And then I wanted to add one more little bird up on the, the pocket. Back to my sewing machine and I'm just going to edge stitch these on. I actually decided that this uh, didn't work as well as I liked it. I switched to my free motion foot. Um, I don't show that, but I just had to turn it so many times. And with the free free motion foot, you don't have to do that. But all my little embellishments are on, and now it's to getting these side seams um, back sewn back together. Now there's definitely. This is a trick because there's some areas that are, are quite bulky. I did have to cut a little bit of that pocket away from that seam. Um, and then she suggested even on just a couple of those seams up by the waistband, 
you're going through several layers. So use a jean needle or a leather needle. And also she actually hammers some of her seams and smashes them flatter. It just kind of breaks up the seam a little bit. And so I tried that. I, I show you, I, got, I just have this little hammer and a little, uh, a little uh, mat and I just took it outside on the concrete and I smashed it a few times. I don't know if that really helped. It, it, it was still a struggle, you know, right in a couple of those spots. Um, so just keep that in mind. She also suggests to always start at the waistband because um, you can always cut off a little bit of the, the bottom if you don't come out quite even. I forgot and I didn't do that, but mine, um, I had no problems with my waistband. It, and I, it didn't shift at all. So everything came out even on my seam. But right here, of course, I struggled. And I ended up just walking my presser foot just by turning my, my flywheel and just walking over those. And then it went okay. Um, but again, on some of my jeans that I, that I have upcycled in the past, I did not open up the, the seam. And I, and I just went through um, the pants like to attach the, the patches. I would recommend um, going, taking this seam twice. And I mean, just the whole side seam, just reinforcing it with another roll. And now I want to wash these. And so all that fraying will start. So this side seam is sewn so that the raw sides are out. And when you wash it, it just has the neatest fringe to it, the neatest look to it. Um, so I'm gonna wash these. And then I'm also gonna add two more buttons here. And this was another idea that I got from Tracy's a video love love this idea where you just and then you can adjust the waistband slightly so I'm gonna go wash them and this is what it looks like they just have that really neat look on the side seams and again there's two more buttons on there so you can move it over if you need to just thought that was a great idea I did have to do a little bit of, tr of trimming or kind of gave them a haircut after I washed them. There was some longer fringes that I didn't want on there, um, but really love the look of them. And now I bought, I just recently bought these stencils. They're 12 inch round stencils. I think they're for the floor. Reasonable price. I'm gonna link those down below for you. Um, I think these are gonna, I'm gonna use these a lot. I can see just a, a complete one on the back of a shirt. Um, right now I'm just using my water um, permanent water fast ink pads and they they work really well through these stencils and I'm just using a makeup brush there and um, and again these archival inks are permanent so they just really add a nice little look I just used a darker blue color so it's kind of tone on tone and add another one to the back. But now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add some just white craft paint. Just really inexpensive white craft paint. Um, another thing that Tracy mentioned in one of her videos is she does not use fabric medium at all. She just does the, directly just puts the paint on. Um, it completely dries within a couple hours. But, um, but, it, but it does take about one week to, to make it completely cured and and then it's washable Acryl, acrylic paint is you know it is a washable paint you're going to be able to to wash it and so just just so you know it just kind of adds a fun look to it so i believe these stencils came in a pack of nine and they're all different so they yeah it's just going to be a just a fun little addition to my my craft or my art supplies 
One last thing, I have my twisted fabric cord and I just had a little piece of it laying there and I thought I just added like a little hook, a little um, purse like hardware hook and I'm just going to hook those right to these belt loops just to add a little bit of texture on the top. Bye everybody. I'm going to share some pictures at the end. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you have a chance to create this week. Bye for now.